Oh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, girl. Spring has sprung. Happy 6th of March. <laughs> Where are my doggies? You guys making friends with the neighbor cows? Come on, puppies. Oh, look at these sweet little faces. Good morning. What are you doing this morning, huh? You're very cute and fuzzy. Hi. Good morning. Oh, it's such a nice day today. Yeah. Hi guys, hi. Does it feel like spring is coming? Yeah? Oh my goodness, you're very fuzzy. Hmm, hi. These are just the neighbor's cows. Just the neighbor's cows. I say it like it's no big deal. This sweet heifer was grand champion at the state fair last year. Yeah, she sure was. She's very interested in Flaubert today, huh? What is that handsome little puppy doing over here, huh? Oh, you sweet girls. It feels so nice out today, huh? I would love to sweet reach over and pet you, but I know I'll get zapped. I always do. Hmm. Are you smelling me? Such cuties. Come on, puppies. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Macy. Let's go. Come on, sweet girl. So, spring is springing, which means we've got mud. It's mud season for a couple of weeks until everything starts to grow. Uh, the duckies love mud season. So do the geese. Come on, Macy, turn your little body. There you go. Move your little Macy body. Everything is melting, so we've got puddles everywhere. Still have a few little chunks of snow, like back there. A little patch here and there. I'm working on flushing some sheep pelts to make some sheepskin rugs. So that's what's going on over here. Just flushing this pelt today. <laughs> I've got my little flock of sheep having their breakfast. Good morning. Yum, yum, good morning, hi. Yes, we're very wooly. We're gonna shear our sheep in another month or less. I just gotta get my stuff together. Pick a date to take off their woolly woolly sweaters. Keep them comfy so they don't overheat. Mace, come on. Hey, leave it, let's go. You can't eat those little scraps. She's like, I can and I will. I will find a little woolly scrap. All right. Got five duck eggs out of the duck house this morning. And all three of the geese, the female geese are broody and sitting on their nests. <laughs> and right here is our sump pump where the water flows out of the basement. And the duckies found it. We found a living stream. <laughs> Such sweet, happy little duckies. Good morning. Hi. What did you find today, huh? What are you doing? Hi. Oh, such happy little duckies. Yes. All right, and let's go say good morning to the geese. They're doing what I thought they would do. 
Got the first goose who went broody on the left nest. She's been sitting for over a week now. And on the right side, the other two geese <laughs> built up an, an enormous joint nest. So we've got one nest on the left here that has less than a dozen eggs. I think she only has like five to eight eggs. On the right side here, those two girls have probably, I don't know, anywhere from a dozen to two dozen eggs between them. And then that's my gander, Polly. Polly D. He's feeling kind of lonely because he's our, our only gander this year. And his job now is just to watch them. <laughs> so he gets a little lonely. The geese will stay on their nests all day long except for about a 10 minute break that they give themselves. 10 minutes to just get off the nest, get some water, get some food, go to the bathroom, stretch their legs, and then they run right back on. And they make a big deal about it, so we usually know when the goose is off the nest. They're honking and carrying on. <laughs> Polly, get off the goose. All right. I'm going to try to distract him. I don't want him trying to mate with them while they're sitting on a nest. And Macy's eating duck food. So it's time to go in. We hope you're having a great day. We hope you're having a good springtime. We're excited because today we have a bunny boy going home. We're hoping that it's Flopsy here. But Flopsy, it may have happened again. We had someone interested in Flopsy immediately after posting his video yesterday. And then <laughs> she mentioned she might want two bunnies. So I said, well, I might have his brother available. There's Cottontail. And then next thing you know, they're saying they might want to take Cottontail instead of Flopsy. <laughs> Flopsy bun, there's nothing wrong with you. You're such a sweet homes. I don't know why it keeps happening, but you know what? Everything happens for a reason. We're really excited for this new Angora bunny owner to come and get an Angora today because they've had bunnies in the past and they've actually had Angoras in the past. But they are looking to bring a little pet into their home that gives them beautiful fiber. Yeah, is that you? Maybe. Is it Cottontail? Maybe. <laughs> it's not you, Johnny Cashy. What are you doing? You? <laughs> You're going right back in your little hut, mister. Hi, Applejacky. Cuties. All right, we love you. <laughs> I'm going to get these boys all together. Start our day. We'll see you soon.